Hey, what up, YouTube? This is Izonk. Thanks for tuning in. So after making guides for Cody, Sagad, Zeku, Sakura, Akira, and Luke, it's time for the final Street Fighter V character that is Kami, and that's the perfect bridge to Street Fighter VI. Like and subscribe so you can check out the Street Fighter VI content that's coming after this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. As you guys know by now, I always start off my guides with the neutral position. And for Kami, uh, the neutral starts with incredible walk speed and incredible dash speed, both uh, forward and backward. Really mobile character. And to keep her opponents at bay, she has this uh, stand medium kick. Uh, this has insane range, it's deceptively far and it has pushback. It's minus 4 on block. So what people are going to do if you annoy them with this at max range, they're either going to try to take their turn back, now that is very likely to whiff because this has great range and pushback so you can uh, auto space a whiff punish there with crouching medium kick for instance. A really good way to get your neutral started. Uh, or at lower levels uh, they're gonna jump at you because this is so annoying. And she has this incredible anti-air. The cannon spike, the DP motion into any kick and she can also anti-air with super. Now her most rewarding anti-air uh, is most likely the air throw. Here we go, because if you dash you're gonna be plus three in their face. Uh, that's a, this excellent Oki and it's really quick, people don't really expect it. And you side change with it. Now this is the heavy kick anti-air that crush counters. Uh, that gives insane reward when it comes to damage. Some in-game footage here against Ryu. And that CA also gives Oki so you can continue your pressure. Now here's the neutral display, look how annoying this medium kick is. You know they're gonna jump. Just keep them there, they can't really do anything. Now, um, she also can go into the forward heavy kick into the spiral arrow that has a lot of meterless damage and Oki. That only works when you uh, crush counter them really close to you. And last but not least, the back medium punch. This is really quick, but the hitbox is not that big. Now, this cannon spike I'm really a fan of. This is the best anti-air DP I saw in the game so far. I played 7 characters. Uh, this is insane. This is incredibly with an autocorrect. This Vega has no chance. If you look at defense, she has a 3 framer, crouching light punch. Uh, really quick and she has an EX reversal. And that, this also hits if people try to jump over as a meaty. That you see a lot at lower levels. Uh, it has an insane hitbox above her. So, if you look at pressure strings, Kami is incredibly quick, right? So the crouching light punch leaves her in throw range, it's a thick throw, and her stand light kick is also a thick throw. Now the stand light kick is actually plus on block, plus one. You can get four of them in a row, and after doing four you still can get a medium or a heavy. So this is an, it's a constant uh, strike throw mix up here, because she can walk forward and throw at any moment here. There's some strings here that you can go back to. Uh, the light kick is plus one on block, the light punch is plus two on block, and the medium punch is plus three on block. So you can keep the strings tight, or you can leave a little gap there. You can always go into a crouching medium kick, because that uh, checks the walk back. And that crouching medium kick and stand heavy punch, which is a six framer by the way, uh, these are confirmable, one hit confirms. Take some practice, but it's definitely doable. So this is gonna be your pressure, right? You start with light kick or light punch, and there's a constant threat of you walking up and throwing. You can get like four or five buttons after each other. It's insane pressure to me. Probably the best pressure I've ever played with in Street Fighter V. And that's mainly because of this walk speed. That's the back medium punch. You can confirm that into the stand heavy kick, that's a target combo, don't do it on block, it's minus 12, but this is her launcher. And you can get that from a 4 framer, so if you have a point black and you can confirm it, uh, you can get a launcher. And that's necessary to get real damage, because um, her medium punch, heavy punch, uh, doesn't do that much damage and it can go into an EX move, we'll get to that later. So if you can get that back medium punch to hit, you're golden, right? That does a lot of damage. Some basic confirms here. 
something you're gonna be doing a lot on counter hit. Light punch, medium punch, heavy punch. All combos on counter hit. Medium punch, heavy punch is even a regular combo. Which is pretty rare in Street Fighter V, where you can go from a medium to a heavy without counter hit. That crouching medium punch is a 5 frame startup. So if you go from light punch to crouching medium punch, that's frame height. Now here's some in game footage. So is there's a constant threat of me walking up for a throw. So that's why the Karin is trying to push buttons. Trying to jab out of it. But you can. Just excellent range, excellent speed, and she can keep the strings tight or leave a little gap there for you to press a button. Very dangerous. If you look at her EX moves, I uh, gave this a special chapter. Uh, this is the EX spiral arrow that goes through projectiles really quickly. Not frame 1 anymore, but still frame 4. You can definitely react to projectiles with that. But it doesn't do much uh, extra damage, so it's not a good combo tool. It does side change. Here's the EX uppercut. And this doesn't combo, right? You need to be really close to your opponent. So when you shimmy, and you do the heavy punch to punish there, uh, the EX uppercut is not gonna combo. So this is also not a way to inflict more damage. That's what I'm saying, her, her regular damage is pretty low. But the Oki is great, so you can get multiple tries. Now this is the EX Hooligan. This is uh, also projectile invulnerable. You can go into either a, air, a throw, uh, a dive kick, that's likely plus some block if you hit it right, or you can go into a low. Now you can get a little mix up here if they jump away, so if you get an airborne opponent with it, you can do a stand light kick and switch sides. And there's the slide, that's plus three on block, so if they try to take their turn back, you can punish them there with the bread and butter. Medium punch, heavy punch. Some in-game footage here. There's the side switch, the mix up. So you see the EX Hooligan, uh, you see that hit. On an airborne opponent, you do the light kick, dash forward, and you can switch sides. Now, I already uh, talked about the launcher, right? The back medium punch into the heavy kick that launches. If you go into the EX Hooligan, into the spike there, uh, that's basically your only way to get a, a juggle combo that can go into an EX bar. And there in a the corner you can go into a light combo, a light uh, spiral arrow and into the EX uppercut. Those are your only routes to spend EX bar to get real damage. And that's why ending with CA is the best way for Kami to get big damage. And you get Oki afterwards as well. So her CA is definitely one of the best in the game. Uh, make sure if you uh, to test out which button you want to use for the CA because uh, light kick, medium kick, and heavy kick all have different ranges on the CA. So in doubt, use the medium one. Now the spiral arrow is has excellent OP, uh, but the reward is not that high. So I thought of this as a, like an auto shimmy, right? I do light kick, and then I crush counter with stand heavy kick, and this worked very well against the latex so you can shimmy and be a reactive there but that's uh, less risk and uh, less reward but if you're really you're really sure they're gonna delay tech you do light kick into heavy kick and then you can go into the forward heavy kick on crush counter crouching medium punch and get a combo going there and we'll revisit this in the v trigger section here light kick heavy kick crush counter forward heavy kick crouching medium punch and then uppercut. This is on a hard read if you think they're gonna delay tech. And I say up the diamond, this is gonna work really well for you guys. Look at the damage output. So she can do a lot of damage in the right situation, just not from her bread and butter. Medium punch, heavy punch, that doesn't go into any EX launchers. Here's our corner combo. Uh, that's a light arrow into the heavy uppercut, uh, the EX uppercut, sorry. That's the bread and butter again. There's the crush counter. Going into CA here because I'm really close. I don't have to use the forward heavy kick. Good stuff, right? 
Let's have a look at our V system. Uh, first, the V skills. This is the V skill one. Uh, this is projectile invulnerable after about 12 frames, I think. If you do it close, it's gonna side switch. It's plus four on block. But the startup is very slow and very punishable. So uh, if Sakura here uh, does a fireball, you can go through. Uh, I'm doing it in reaction here because it's a charged fireball. But against real zoners, you can't do that. You have to preemptively do it. And if they bait you, you die. So I made a video about how good that V skill one is on wake up after C8. But I thought in the neutral, this V skill two is way, way better. And why is this so good? Um, this is a crush counter button and you can uh, cancel that from cancelable buttons. So if you do that after a crouching medium kick, the crouching medium kick is minus three on block. So people will take their turn back. And if they do, this V skill two is gonna crush counter them. So uh, it's gonna make people scared to press a button in neutral, which is exactly what Kami needs because then she can use that walk speed to walk up and punish her opponent for being inactive. So she can punish her opponent for pressing, and she can punish them for not pressing. It's minus six on block, by the way, but because she moves back, uh, she doesn't really get punished by most characters. So the block strings that were already really good, uh, they just get better with the V skill too, because she gets an extra action at the end, and she can uh, steal turns there, because people are gonna be scared to press that button after the crouching medium kick. Here's some in-game examples. Try to jump out, she gets hit. Here she tries to press a button, crush counter. After the crush counter, you can get a uh, medium spiral arrow or you can go into super even. Now, V-Trigger 1. Uh, you activate both V-Triggers with crouching heavy punch. That's the best way to activate. Most plus frames on block. And on hit, you can immediately go into the spiral arrow. It powers up all of her special moves. And especially uh, the dive kicks are getting uh, a lot of buffs. Here, you can go into a spiral arrow that now juggles. And you can go into an uppercut. All uppercuts become invincible, meterless. And if you run out of bar after the juggle, you can finish with an EX uppercut there or a super. So this is a really simple, straightforward uh, V-Trigger. Now the V-Trigger 2 is more complicated, and honestly it's not as good. What it does is it gives an, uh, it gives like a, what, what is it, like a drive rush basically. She can move forward, and then uh, on hit, you need to do it after a heavy punch first of all. On activation you'll be plus 7, and if you're already active you're plus 5, so it's, it's alright. Uh, she can also go into an overhead or a throw, so there's a, like a built-in mix up there. Uh, in my opinion, the problem is on hit, the overhead is only plus 3, so that's not great. On block it is plus 2, so that's good. Yeah, plus 2, and you're in throw range, so that's good. On hit it's only plus 3, so you only get a crouching light punch there. So what you really, the goal of this trigger is basically to get the throw. Uh, you'll get the throw by pressing punch, and if you get the throw there, that's like a command throw. And you can, uh, you're plus 7 here. Yeah, so you can get the heavy punch into a spiral arrow knockdown. So that's good. So the goal of this trigger basically is to, to mix up your opponent and to have them block high. And if they block high, you can get the throw. Because the throw uh, whiffs on crouches. So, I think this is a really cool trigger. I know uh, Giko, uh, best cami in Europe probably, he really likes this trigger. But I think it's pretty complicated, it's not that easy to use, and I think V-Trigger 1 is better because the dive kicks are so, so dangerous. It's like almost a free way of getting in. Now, uh, if you look at Miscellaneous, uh, I think our V-Reversal deserves some special attention because this side switch is in the corner. So if your opponent does a heavy there, you can get the guaranteed reversal here, you'll be plus 2. Uh, on block, you'll be uh, minus 6, so that's punishable, but she's very far away most of the time. So you'll only get punished if people are baiting it. Uh, I thought of this way to activate, so if you get the crush counter with that little setup I showed you guys, uh, you can activate on the crouching medium punch, and then not spend the trigger there, but go into a sweep. And then if you immediately go into a uh, medium... Uh, 
medium dive kick there, V trigger dive kick. You're gonna be plus and it's gonna cross up. It's just something I thought of. There's probably way more tech. I only played the character for two weeks. So try it out yourself. Uh, to end it off, like, if you really want to unlock this character at a high level, you got to use the dive kick, instant dive kick. Not that difficult to do, but very difficult to get a uh, plus on block. Most of mine were minus, and I got punished a lot at first. Hope you enjoyed this guide. Hit it with a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you in the next video. See you in Street Fighter 6. Peace.